Welcome everyone. Today we have a patch 1.1 reputation guide. Firstly, we need to find where those NPCs are. So if you go into your minimap, if you see the triangle, that's where the NPC is. Similarly, if you come to Lering Harbor, you can see the NPC over here on the triangle. So that's where we find the NPC. Now after we speak to the NPC over here, we're going to open up two different sections. Usually the bounties will be unlocked at level 2, and sometimes the other requests and things that can be unlocked after a certain objective is completed. This is the Lering Harbor one, and over here you can see the Mondstadt one. What's going to happen is we'll be looting the World Exploration and Mondstadt quest because those we have already completed. Currently having 20, 40 and 60% exploration give us 300 adventure experience. You can see over here that this is the same for both cities. So although the range is bigger, we do not get more exploration experience. After that, we can start spamming and clicking all of the tasks we have completed in each of the cities. But notice that there is a claim all button guys. I've been spamming to click over there. But if you press the claim all over here, you can actually claim all instead of just having to spam like me. I was like, wait a minute, there's a claim all button. So I press that and it claimed all of the experience. This is much better guys, use the claim all button over here. Now you might be wondering, how do you do those quests? Those quests can be from the side quest, from the daily commissions or from the main quest. So we have to do the quest within the cities. You cannot pick up the quest directly. It's okay if you want to search on the internet to find where those quests, how do you start those. So those are like bonus reward for us completing the quest related to cities. For example, if you look at the images over here, you can see the different ones. Some of the more reputation experience we get from Mondstadt is because of the Archon quest. You can see those special names and the special logo for 100 reputation experience. The other ones, the side quest ones, all the daily commission ones only give 20 experience. Now because of the size of each city, because Mondstadt is a little smaller, there's only 15 quests in Mondstadt to be completed. And you can see over here there's 34 quests in Lering Harbor to be completed. Now let's come over to the repetitive weekly hunt and also the quest after. So what you can do is you can always pick up the highest bounty with the higher difficulty. After picking one up, you cannot pick another one. So only one bounty is activated at the time. And once we have the bounty ready, we'll be opt to find the territory where the monster is using the elemental site within 10 minutes. So there is a timer ticking down. We have to find three different objectives. Now the first time I did it guys, it took me forever to find the monsters because I didn't know you want to use the magical site and then you see there's a little gold thing on top of the monsters. You have to kill those monsters. So after killing those little trolls, what's gonna happen is I'll be completing one, my, one out of three. You can see over here, killing this troll gave me tracks discover one out of three. There are other objectives similar to those one, but always go for the gold indication. Now, small tip on the side, if you're using the magical track, notice the blue lines are leading you forward. If the lines are no longer in front of you, you should stop and see where the lines is going. If the line is stopping right where you are, that means you're very close to the objective. Notice each time I run forward, the line is still in front of me. That means the objective is still in front of me. But all of a sudden here, notice the line kind of stops here because it's a gold objective. It took me a little while to realize that because notice the lines everywhere. And now the line is pointing towards the gold objective. And I didn't notice until now, and I'm still looking, I was like, what's happening? Is this bush? And eventually I saw the gold flower over here. By looting the flower, we got the second objective. Notice it's a timer, guys. We have to do everything within 10 minutes. Now, once we have found all three of the ob objectives, what you're going to see is you're going to see a triangle with a monster. And usually this is the five-star ruin hunter you'll be facing. Now, this monster is quite strong for most of us because we don't have you know, the strongest characters. When it's flying, guys, aim for its core and you're going to shoot it down. And this is the best time to do damage. If you don't capture this, it's going to take a while to hit it. And it did take me two to three minutes to take one down if I wasn't going for the core. But if you do focus on the core and break him down, you can do a chunk of damage before he even gets up. And that's what I did. Now, if you haven't subscribed, this is a really good time to do so. Make sure you also turn the bell on for the latest news as I find more of them for us. You can see that we're really dedicated for Genshin Impact. We'll have builds, guides, tips, news, and events updates for everything that's Genshin Impact related. Now, coming over to the weekly quest section, 
what's going to happen is those are like daily commissions, but they are more mandatory or more menu for us. The each of the quests gives 40 experience. I checked all of them. There's no difference. And notice each of the quests requires different things. This one wants stakes. So as we go through of each of them, as you go through each, this one wants six of the four or the chicken drumsticks. So notice the blue writing tells you what they want. You must prepare the items for the NPC and then this can be completed just by hiding them the task item. After accepting each of the quest, what you can do is you can click go to quest, you can navigate towards the quest. And over here we'll be delivering six chicken drumsticks. The biggest focus here is to have your ingredients ready and also calculate how much experience you want for each of the cities. Keep in mind guys, you can only do three weekly hunt and three weekly tasks for both cities combined. So if you did three months that, you can't do any in the ring harbor after. And in case you guys are wondering what I mean by that is, look on top over here. It says it applies to all cities. So only three out of three can be done every week. Now after handling the items to the NPC, the quest is completed. So those are more easier, but they don't give us that much adventure or reputation experience. So the highest experience comes from the bounties and from the other things. Those ones are more standard and easier. Now I did come back and double check if those tasks refreshes. Unfortunately, the weekly acceptable quest does not refresh in Mondstadt. I did two of them and noticed that they did not refresh. They just stayed where they are. We can see over here that the next refresh is in four days. Basically every week those are going to refresh and they're going to ask different task items. Now before we make a summary of how to get the most experience and what we should aim for, look over here. I saw a chest, also a monster. This is a whopper flower with a gold tag on it. This is me hunting for the second hunt. Notice I was fully jabated by the chest and I didn't notice the flower. After that I was looking everywhere but I couldn't find what monster was because I spawned more monsters. So the focus here is guys, always look on top of the monster for the gold sign. And as you can see over here, eventually I figured out it was a flower that was the crest monster. And by killing that monster, we found enough clues to find the next rune hunter. So now that we know everything about the task and also the reputation system, how do you get the highest experience for each of the cities? What I recommend guys is to unlock level 4 first for both of the cities. Once that is unlocked, we get the discounts. And after that, you can consider the treasure chest at level 6 to increase your exploration. You can then focus on each of the cities for 8. You can of course just go for 4 for one of them and go 8 directly. Now the best way to do it is to go with 3 of the 100 experience bounties and also the 120 experience from each of the weekly quest. This allows you to focus on one of the cities. There shouldn't be any difference for both of the cities. Now if you do want to complete more of those side quests, we can search those up by just checking what quests those are. For example, if I type Genshin for Tomorrow Without Tears for this particular one, so for Tomorrow Without Tears, we can see that coming to the fandom over here, you can see what this quest is about and what do you need to start the quest. This way, you can fully focus on farming out one city by finding each of the quest and doing its hunting and doing everything related to the city. Now, I do not think we get more exploration experience after the initial 300, so we don't have to get 100% over here. The focus is to do your bounties, do your request, and then finish all of the quest that is available in the city. After that, we'll wait for four more days, and then we'll repeat for the weekly ones. And that should be everything to fasten our pace to get the wins. Now before I finish guys, those Ruin Hunters 5 star hunt are extremely difficult. I thought the first one was hard, the second one was harder, because I did not capitalize on punishing the monster while it's done. I was just running around, I was like, I can do enough damage. But before I know it, it took me three more minutes to kill this monster because I didn't capitalize when I broke the core when it fell down. So make sure guys, you kill it when it's weak. Now if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips and news and event updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with Catherine and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.